online broadcast network, After Buzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries, and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind-the-scenes exclusives. All thanks to E! Entertainment's Maria Menounos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Yeah, yeah, I'm winning. Yeah, yeah, I'm winning. Yeah, yeah, I'm winning. Okay. Freestyle. Freestyle. Here we go. One, two. One, two. One, two. Sigh. <laughs> Not that show, but another show. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to the recap after Buzz TV for The Grinder uh, episode. Was this 13? 12, 12, 12 11, 13. 13. 13. 13. 13. Yeah, it is. 13. We knew that already. Grinder uh -huh. versus Grinder. Uh, I am Stephen Helmkamp. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Stephen Helmkamp. Joined by two lovely ladies tonight yeah. with our first time <laughs> panelists here. I know, I'm excited. I'm like jumping in and joining y'all tonight. Um, yeah. I'm Annika Michelle, and you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Annika Michelle One. Oh, so stoked to have you. And I'm Leslie Ambrose, as you guys already know. You can find me on Twitter at In Less Than No Time. That's right. Um, we've got a, a really cool show, but first, just want to check in with you guys. You know, Super Bowl is upon us this weekend. Is it, is it really? Is it this weekend? No way. It's this weekend. Oh, I did Whoa. not know that. Super that Bowl Sunday. Wait, yeah. who's playing? What's it's, uh, oh my yeah. gosh. I don't oh keep my up, gosh. girl. She just has his time. Um, I'm sorry. It's basketball, but I keep up with okay. football. I'm not, okay. not about that. Okay. You still watch it, though. I watch for commercials so wait, and Beyonce. Right. <coughs> Do you know Beyonce? Beyonce? Yeah. Beyonce and Coldplay. And Bruno Mars. No, Bruno Mars is not in no, it's Coldplay, here. halftime show. I thought they were doing all three. Oh, I would die if who's Bruno your, was Who's there. your prediction? In That's going to win? Yeah. I kind of think it's going to be the Broncos. Broncos? Yeah. Okay. So Beyonce is gonna win. Okay, you, and you're saying Beyonce is gonna win. I'm going Panthers. Cam okay. Newton all day. That's my boy. He's a boss, and we're going Panthers. So uh, mm -hmm. audience watching at home, you can definitely check us on the live chat and tweet us who you think your Super Bowl, Super Bowl predictions are. Um, so okay, getting into the episode, what'd you guys think? It was good. It was. I love that they brought Timothy Oliphant back because at the beginning I was like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know about him, but. He's killing it. Killing it. Yeah. I never would have thought that he would have lasted more than a few episodes, but he's so funny. They're either shelling out big bucks mm -hmm. to keep him around, or Tim's just having a ball and not super busy right now and just real tight with Rob Maybe Lowe. him and Rob are like, and yeah. Back. I mean, yeah. I think that? that's probably more of the case. Uh -huh. I completely agree. I love seeing Tim the Olive fan back. I think he adds such a fun dynamic to the show and it's so cool to see him in this character versus his hit series Justified where he played that right. the cowboy rugged lumberjack macho man type guy so different. Uh -huh. yeah. we were just talking about the different spectrum that they were in like metro sexual uh -huh. and like you he know rugged lumberjack that, uh -huh. you know and it's yeah. funny I like the cool oh sorry go ahead. no that's no, okay I was just gonna say I like that there's a bromance like in this episode kind of with those two because they're not the two that would have a bromance really and I kind of like that that flourished and like of course didn't end in a bromance but yeah, well, it didn't I even like start with the bromance. No, yeah. it was just for like a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, well, it started, so Ali Fan got introduced in this episode pretty early. Um, he took a little bit of a break, and then he, he's back for this episode. Mm -hmm. And um, the episode, here we are, Dean's back in, the, back in the, the family law firm doing what he does best. And um, they're handling like a simple case, and you know, it's a pretty simple fact. As usual, fact. Yeah. yeah. And um, Oliphant comes in just out of nowhere and drops kind of a bombshell on him from what he learned from his new uh, TV yeah, show, The Grinder uh -huh. so New Orleans. <laughs> and, oh, um, no. and then of that course. sparks a huge feud which is actually kind of fired from Stu. I yeah. was really mm -hmm. surprised to Stu see and him Who knew? pin Tim and Dean against mm -hmm. each other. Because yeah. normally, this was like the first time we've seen Stu be kind of devious. Yeah, right? yeah. Right? Towards his yeah. own brother. I think he's, you know, it's learning some tricks. Seeker, and yeah. like, I don't know if it was like, 
I don't know if it was like a jealousy thing or what it was in him that was like, oh, let me just pin these two up against mm-hmm. each other and see like what'll happen. But I it think, was Deb's advice that it, said I think do it. Was it. Just it was his boiling point. This is it. He just couldn't handle it anymore. And then you see two come in. He's right. like, okay, I can't do this anymore. And it's gonna end. It well, has yeah. To end. I mean, like, like Dean has been in the house, kind of, and so mm-hmm. infiltrating Stewart's law firm. So yeah. at this point, I mean, Stewart just kind of wants to get rid of him, and that's kind of mm-hmm. been pretty consistent through the show is trying to get Dean out of right. the house and his job, his <laughs> law firm. Mm-hmm. So I, I think Stu sees an opportunity here to um, just create a little bit of chaos and really annoy Dean, which ultimately might drive him out of the law firm. But I was like, I was really surprised to, to see, see him go him. to Deb, yeah, and do that mm-hmm. because that's typically not Stewart's it's not his character. Thing. And even if it is kind of his thing where he hints towards it, it always fails, which we did see that this time, but it lasted a lot longer than I thought it would have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then it was hilarious. Uh, it actually did spark a feud. It, it worked. Yeah. And then um, to see them do that little bit where they're in the back room and Tim just kind of comes clean to him and says, look, man, I'm here to, to learn. I'm not inhabiting the right. grinder role. I'm just acting. And yeah, the audience is buying it because I'm Timmy Lee. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm a good that, actor. I'm that good. <laughs> but when he starts like coaching him on the acting stuff, I, th- I found it absolutely hilarious. Cause yeah. it's, it's, mm-hmm. it's horrible acting. Like when just you look at boxes the craft yeah. of acting, right. yeah, mm-hmm. the anger thing or whatever. Um, that's I what I meant about the, like, bromance, because, like, they were, like, he could have been mad at him and be like, I'm not going to help you, but then mm-hmm. he was like, oh, you take off your sunglasses like this, and you give him this look, and this is how you slide up to the judge box. Like, you wouldn't, you know, like, it's just, yeah. like, he's but kinda, he knew, he knew what he was doing. Yeah. He, like, knew, if anybody just compliments Dean once, he's like, right. oh, okay, we're best friends then? Like, yeah. That's so... Which totally uh-huh. flipped it on Stuart, because mm-hmm. now, who he pinned to go against each other, they're now like they're... like, getting along. The yeah. bromance, uh-huh. like you said. So, <laughs> so now Stuart's got two Deans on his case. And they look alike, too. Another, another John they Stamos, do. Rob Lowe. <laughs> All is this, three of them. Is this a new rap pack? Yeah, no, new it's rap new pack. one. Yes. I'm telling you. Yeah, so now Steen's got two actor TV lawyers yes. involved in his life right now, which is way more than he wants. Um, so yeah, that was, that was hilarious. So then Deb comes up with the other idea saying okay mm-hmm. let's really pin them against but each she's other she's been kind of sketched the last few episodes like even with her and i forgot his name already but dean's assistant that was living with him how she oh, even like the undermined guy from, uh, him. Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, 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 yeah. She undermined him. I was like calling apartments. I was like, oh no, he's a uh, like, check his felony he's record. A, he yeah, might, yeah, he's he might a, have a felon. Felony. He's a criminal. Sorry, I need him to make me salads and everything. Yeah. So I see a little bit of a different side of her, which I don't know if I like yet. These two got a little dark side they to do. them. Yeah. They do. It's uh, crazy. How funny was that scene when they're in the law firm and Stu's like, so who do you think we should lead with, Tim? <laughs> And, and and Tim's like, or Dean's like, uh, uh-huh. yeah, the maybe the young girl. Oh, do you agree with that, Tim? Well, actually, I think we should leave with the boss. And they were, it was there so I funny go. to see them take jabs at one another right. on mm-hmm. each other's TV show. Um, I really, I just, the whole time I was thinking about that was like, I want to see the blooper reel of that oh, scene. Oh, my gosh, yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's probably up on, like, Fox's extra. Fox.com probably has bloopers probably, up. Probably, yeah. Like, after yeah. every word, they're do probably they, busting a Do they really thing. have a blooper rule? They do. Of, like, they um, have, like, I mean, Fox.com, if you go to, like, their, if you try to watch episodes on there, there. Mm-hmm. they have, like, you know, at, like, you know, the episodes, and they have, like, videos, and some of them are, like, blooper reels from, like, each episode posted on there. Yeah, do they it's do that funny. for grandfather? They had, like, one or two of grandfather that they put out, and it was hilarious, because they couldn't keep a straight face to it. Talk to, you know, oh it's just like they're God. cracking Classic, up and they're trying yeah. to like get through a line and they can. The kids, you know. Yeah, I'm so. Um, that's what I'm doing. When I'm going home, I'm, like looking at that. Just that's going to be. All of them I might there. even like that yeah. more than the episodes. Oh, uh, everyone it's loves funny. It's it's hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah, because uh-huh. they can't like get through the scene, and it's just mm-hmm. funny to see them like try to get through a serious moment or like yell at each other and they just can't stop laughing or like yeah. they can't. Someone's phone's ringing or uh-huh. like whoops. Someone yells something <laughs> off the side of the yeah. set. Uh-huh. When we had Hannah on, she plays the young girl on the show. Yeah, she yeah, yeah. even said there was a lot of like behind the scenes laughter. And, like, oh, I'm just sure. like you said, it was hard mm-hmm. to get through a lot of scenes. I'm sure. And Where do they take that? Do we know what studio yeah. they're in? I think on Fox. Fox. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. yeah. Okay. Fox a lot. They're rivaling your boy, Stamos. I know. Ooh. Annika hosts I the know. Oh, recap the other show side. for other Grandfather, side. which I she's do. had me on for that. So yeah, we always pin like Stamos and Rob, Rob Lowe, Lowe against mm-hmm. one, one another because they're so much alike in the sense and got their own show. Yeah, and they're both on Fox and both around the same age and both kind of that 
They got the let's, same thing going on. Let's get yeah, to the serious, uh-huh. hard-hitting questions, Annika. Who do you like better? I mean, is that even a question? <sighs> <laughs> My sorry, answer, Grindr fans. Sorry, no. Grindr fans. We brought a traitor <laughs> on board here today. Well, I mean, really, she's trading her after show because she voluntarily came over here. My, so. true, true. My, you definitely Stamos wins. Yeah. Well, she yeah. like knows Stamos because Stamos <laughs> reposted her link today for no their grandfather after show, and yeah. then liked one of her photos on Instagram. Yeah, it was a good good day on social media. <laughs> a good Stamos day. It was a good Stamos day on social media. Oh, way to kill it! So way funny. Way to oh kill it. Gosh. But what are some reasons why you have to give reasons for Stamos? I mean, is there really like? Yeah, I, I want to hear on. it. Come uh-huh. on, like that smile and like he just you can just tell like all the times I've met him, he's super humble, super nice, and super down to earth, and I feel like. Someone who has like a long list of credits like he does and has done so many different things like Broadway, has done concerts, has done TV, has done movies. Like, and like, it's, it's rare to find someone so down to earth and like, you know, you don't oh, find okay. that. They're usually like okay. into themselves and like, well, I don't want to talk to you. Who are you? Mm-hmm. Give me water or whatever. Like, it's so this very has been <laughs> a plug for Stamos to come on the grandfather there recap after show. Like, what what else do you need? Like a few more photos. Uh-huh, we're here Annika's for you. His biggest oh fan my I gosh! Was. Yeah. Hilarious. Um, well, you know, you're obsessed with Stamos, but Claire was not too obsessed with Tim this episode. No. She was showing a little bit of reservation, saying mm. he's been kind of clingy. Clingy is always a deal breaker, you know. Is it it's, a deal yeah. breaker for you? Yeah, I don't. I mean, for yeah, a girl, yeah. much. Really? I thought girls I are like know. waiting by the phone for my calls. Oh, well. Sorry. Is this not, <laughs> is this not real? <laughs> this is not happening, huh? No, it's oh. kind of like a, oh, look, Steven's, call. no, I'll answer it later. Okay. Here's what I think about that. I think <laughs> girls don't know what the hell they want. I don't think guys do either. No, it Agreed. goes both ways. It does but go girls both are ways. like, well, he's not calling me enough. He's not texting me enough. He doesn't like my photos or whatnot. And then if we do, it's clingy. That's not clingy. No, it's if you clingy do. if you're calling every day and you have to text every two seconds, like, hey, what are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm just at home. Blah, blah, blah. Good morning. Good night. So that's clingy. Yeah. That's and clingy to you. To me, that's clingy. In like, the dating I talked phase, to you once already. I don't need to talk to you again. In the today. dating phase or boyfriend girlfriend phase, uh-huh. that's clingy. Ooh. That's, it makes a difference, man. It makes a difference. Okay, the dating phase. In the dating phase, uh-huh. that's clingy. In the boyfriend girlfriend phase, it could be clingy if it's overly done. See, I, I don't think that's clingy. Like, oh, I guess see, everyone's I know different. people have complained about you that. You don't think that's clingy in the dating phase no. either? No. I think that's Once sweet. Yeah. No. Okay. I think that's sweet. I think that's like, oh, okay, well, they're thinking about me and they're calling. So mm. the lesson learned here <laughs> is that guys have no chance because <laughs> Everyone some... has different opinions. Every girl is different. Get to know the girl you're dating. It's true. That's so, advice. Uh-huh. Tim, I feel for you this episode, brother, because you were getting a little reservation from Claire, which was surprising. Um, but she agreed to have Tim come by the office more, obviously, to poke that fire mm-hmm. a little bit more. Because she's not too fond of Dean being in the law firm. She's over anyways. both of them, yeah. Um, and then a mock trial. There's yes, one way to sell trial. it mock on who trials. has more experience as a TV mm-hmm. lawyer, who's, a, who's more of a <laughs> lawyer as a TV lawyer. This Once the mock trial took place, this became my one of my... I'll say it. My favorite episode. Oh, of the wow. Season. That's a big it thing really to did. say. It really did. I love Those it. are fun, though. Have you been in one? No, that's oh a my real God. thing. No, yeah. it's a real thing. I did it like in, in class. Co- yeah, in college. Did you go to law school or something? No, I, had to, I did communications, but we had to take a communications law for who knows what reason. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in communications law, they made us do a mock trial. And like it was like two students, like a jury, and we were the jury, I guess, and like a judge. And it was just like, it was intense and so much fun. And it was just back and forth, back and forth. And like... The two, the two people playing like the lawyer parts were like so convincing that you're oh, like dang. you want to switch majors now because that was <laughs> yeah. insane so good yeah dang. it was My just a lot of fun media law class was not that really? intense yeah we did like mini mock trials but not that crazy yeah it's awesome it's fun though uh huh no it is fun to yeah. see your classmates go at well, it well I had so much fun <laughs> just watching this scene so I can imagine how much fun I'd see one in class or something right. like that maybe but we'll the, have one <laughs> next week yeah maybe yeah. we'll set up a mock, mock trial, trial here get a jury <laughs> um, it was absolutely hilarious I loved how they were just going back and forth to, towards one another and Tim had just a funny one liner like you know if an actor's job is uh, to yeah. lie uh-huh. 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 please uh-huh. lie yeah. less well, right here <laughs> yeah if an actor lies and just, for a living just sipping his tea yeah. just I'm gonna turn around yeah. and sip my tea oh my god! I wrote it down word for word I was like that's my favorite line of the whole show mm-hmm. the way these two deliver it and go back to back they kill it it's just I mean 
just funny comedy, great mm -hmm. comedic acting is what it is. Yeah. It's hard to deliver comedy to hit the beats and make it sing because it's just words on paper, but mm -hmm. those guys are really bringing it to life and giving it so much more. And I just thought that it was just so well done between the two. I really yeah. felt like Tim kind of elevated Rob low in yeah. the show a little yeah. bit. Yeah, definitely. Kind of elevated him like that. Yeah. yeah, brought his mm -hmm. funny up. Mm -hmm. Rob's always funny, but I just felt he just... There's like mannerisms a bit more mm -hmm. too. They, yeah. can, they matched each other in terms yeah. of overacting, whereas it's usually it's only Dean that's doing right. it. Because mm -hmm. they're competing for that, yeah. you know, uh -huh. like, oh, I want that spot kind of thing. So, so we Absolutely. see we get more of it, which is great in comedies when it's not just one person that's being crazy, but both of them are. Yeah, like mm -hmm. when you're the number one on the call sheet, it's all on you. I mean, you're right. carrying a show. So to have someone at the same level that you are to come on mm -hmm. and do a recurring like that and to give that fresh energy on set, yeah. I'm sure Rob's loving that, having Tim around. Oh. Oh, definitely. Um, I'm sure he's knocking at the producer's door every day and saying, yeah, <laughs> keep them coming, him, keep them coming. Back in. Um, so I thought that was great. I thought they took a little jab at NCIS mm -hmm. when oh, you guys saw it too. Thought of that, yeah. yeah. When Rob was like, you know, let the record state my show is the grinder, not Los Angeles. It's not yeah. a derivative of uh -huh. a true yeah. legendary <laughs> TV yeah. show. Yep. I was like, yo, see, LA, it's a shot at NCIS. LA, there's the New York, New York. there's whatever. Yeah, too and many to keep stuff. track yeah. of. It's yeah, funny. but he still did the dramatic like NCIS rooftop scene, yeah. Yeah. which was even more funny. So funny. Yeah, uh -huh. the Michael Caruso. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> which I thought that was a little ballsy to do that, and that's cool. Um, but mm. I was like, wow, reading they just the follow through there. with the jabs and the jokes, you know? Um, <laughs> it worked though uh -huh. in that moment. Totally, totally worked. How did so? Uh, speaking of the rooftop, how did Dean? How was Dean losing at that point when they broke for recess? Like Tim was took the case mm -hmm. and then Stu turned to Debbie and said he's losing. You gotta go give him a pep talk. It's like how? Oh, that was the That was a little unclear to me. Was that clear about. to you guys? Yeah, the one where he was like, How is a lawyer a lawyer if he hasn't lost a single Oh, if, yeah, if because actors he's are lost. lying, who's lied less? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But oh, like, he, he lost a case. That's why he says mm -hmm. he's the true lawyer, because um, Dean hasn't that lost. Scene, yeah. He took his first mm -hmm. L. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. We even, that wasn't clear to me. Yeah, it's like a continuous <laughs> thing throughout <laughs> the a Rob episode. moment. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Just blanked out. I wasn't watching the episode. <laughs> so, speaking of being stupid, um, um. <laughs> while all that was going down, all I was thinking in my head was like, this is so idiotic and so stupid but so yeah. funny and mm -hmm. then Claire goes is this not the stupidest thing you've ever seen <laughs> yeah. I wrote my note was she <laughs> literally so took funny. the words out of my head oh that's my so gosh. funny I love Claire's dry humor in the entire every episode she's good uh huh can I just tell you guys I was driving me crazy in the rooftop scene with the two brothers like I was like I I know it's probably lighting and makeup and it's not what he really is probably not that tan but like the fact that Stu was like orange looking and his teeth <laughs> yeah. were like magnetic white super white uh -huh. I literally could not focus on anything else because I literally counted how many teeth were super white and then the fifth one right here wasn't and I was like yeah. oh those are the fake veneers and yeah. then that's the one he couldn't pay for and didn't do <laughs> so like I literally, super white. Oh, I my literally God. could not focus on anything that was uh -huh. going on in that scene because he's yeah. or it's like orange white five and then when he smiled a bit more, it was like these two weren't. So I was like, oh my gosh, that I makeup artist needs to tone it with a bronzer. I can't focus. Oh yeah. My God. Well, they're sitting there probably with like eight reflectors right. lighting him up and whatnot. Um, yeah, that was the that was the pep talk there. <laughs> to where Dean comes back the down. Honesty, I love it. To like mm -hmm. take the case, Dean, straight up. He did his thing, yeah. Right. yeah. He uh, was pretty, pretty creative, pretty clever. Mm -hmm. How they from the top of the show, it was all about him in the in in the episode of the grinder, him hearing mm -hmm. that one line from his client, right, and that's what sparked it going. Mm -hmm. So we call that a callback in comedy. So they brought that back to the very end of the episode where Tim said, "It's yours to lose." What'd you say? It's yours to lose. So that was nice. That was right. that was mm -hmm. well done. Um, he ended up winning the case. And at the very end, I love how they kind of explained it with Todd and made Todd the scapegoat, like the <laughs> every dummy. Every time. Always. Every time. And Todd always, in the last few episodes, he's always gotten the last word before it like cuts and it's the end. That's right. Yeah, uh -huh. I didn't even notice that. 
Well, I was just like, I kind of wanted some clarity too, and I'm sure there's audience mm -hmm. members out there too who weren't completely sure. So they were kind it's of nice on that they like, side. well, uh -huh. yeah, that the show was like, let's make it real clear of just mm -hmm. what went down right here. For make people it funny. like you that totally missed it, you know. So <laughs> stupid, <laughs> totally. Um, cool. Any uh, news and gossip? Just I said it last week, but What's I'm up? a big Colton Haynes fan, even Colton though I've never Haynes. watched his. You should tweet TV him and shows. come in. He's a big uh, his, Twitter. Uh, his Instagram is just really cool. He's a cool dude. At least it seems like I kind of have a crush I'm done talking okay. okay Colton Haynes or Rob Lowe Colton oh. Haynes oh, oh. Colton yes, Haynes yeah. or Timothy Oliphant Colton Haynes wow oh. that's a that's a major crush then she Sorry. just turned down to it guys. hardcore guys you saw Tim's yeah. bod too no shirt uh, I didn't do anything for him didn't do it for you Colton Haynes uh, <laughs> he wants to take his shirt off in the next episode <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, okay with that okay with I guess I'm okay with that that moves us right into predictions <laughs> talking about the skin and now, your After Buzz TV I always feel like I'm predictions. Spaceship. Yeah. Predictions. You have to Anyone hot off the top? Ooh. Oh, man. You go since you were okay, excited about Colton Okay, I'm going to go Haynes. with my usual. Oh. I mean, I am excited about Colton Haynes, but I still want to see a school episode. School episode. I want to see a Hana and Ethan episode where Dean comes in, does something, mm -hmm. saves the day if mm -hmm. it's a prom, a school election, something, has a thing with the teacher. I think that'd be hilarious. Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. I think that Claire and Tim are going to break up. I think Tim got a lot of revealing information and in the cross examination mm -hmm. from Claire there, saying that she actually came forward and said, Your show wasn't as realistic as I said when we were in the bedroom alone. So I think there's going to be a big breakup, and I think that's going to be the end of Tim. I think if Tim's not getting it on with Claire, bye-bye mm -hmm. Tim. Right. It'd be why else, to come why back. else would yeah. he be back? So I think that's going to be his exit. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's what they're going to do, unfortunately. Probably. Sad to say. Let's hope that doesn't come I mean, true. Tim's, Tim's got a good bot. I mean, yeah. he's, he's funny. <laughs> they can turn it, they can turn it around. He, he elevates can be Rob. Yeah. That's what I got. I'm going to go totally not in any of those directions. Like okay. I'm going to go out there. <laughs> Just because you know what, like Valentine's Day is a few weeks, so oh, I'm just gonna true. say, mm -hmm. I want I want Dean to get a girl. Dean has not had a girl. No, no I'm not into that. Uh -uh. Yeah, there's been no love no interest. No love interest, and whatsoever. she was weird and right. I like him. need him to like next episode if it's Colton Haynes. Obviously, that's not gonna be the girl, but. Maybe like, you know, Maybe there's another episode before stars, Valentine's. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I need a little love connection there. Like, I need. I think that'll be good for everyone. I think that would also like distract him, and he won't be at at home so much with Stu and like the family, and like mm -hmm. you know they won't be like sitting there like watching his show, like you know, like I think he'll just be distracted, and there'll be like a good change of pace, not only for Dean but for the entire family. Yeah, I'm rooting for what love, if, guys. What if Tim leaves? And then Claire suddenly her yeah, and Dean again. That. What if that happens? I could see that. That's one hell of a right. prediction. I could see that. It's interesting that they've gone this long without a huge love interest for yeah. Dean. There was that one off with Christina Applegate. Right. But and speaking didn't, of yeah. grandfather, Stamos doesn't have a love interest really either. No, but he's got it. He's a bachelor. Like that's the point of the story. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the bachelor that just found out he's a kid, a grandpa, blah, blah. Like they kind of got to keep any him lady mingling. Ones. I don't want to talk about that yeah. show on the show. Get out of, <laughs> Get out of here. Out of here. <laughs> brought that up. You uh, did. I think secretly he has a love. Love it side for that show. I mean, you were the first trader before Monica, so this is true. I think it's a good time to wrap up. Well, not about you guys. Um, oh first, we will give a huge shout out to our awesome engineer, Phil Speed Tech, yeah! uh, our man, yeah. top dog in charge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, again, check me out on Instagram and Twitter at Stephen Helm Camp. Ladies, where can we find you? You want to go first? Sure. You can find me uh, on Instagram and Twitter at Annika Michelle One. And you can find me at In Less Than No Time. See you guys there. And you can Thanks, find guys. us all back next week, Tuesdays, 8 30. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire Afterbuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the Afterbuzz TV Network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you Buzz later. You later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.